What's up, YouTube? So, I just found this out. The government, the U.S. government, has given the Taliban a list of names, a list of Americans and our allies currently in Afghanistan that cannot make it to the airport. Why? Oh, so that they can be evacuated? Yeah, like we're gonna trust the Taliban to do that. The Taliban who, after Biden decided to change the pullout date from May 1st to September 11th, have been chanting death to America and all that. Oh, oh, you wanna say it's ISIS that's doing all the attacks? Okay. ISIS knows how to infiltrate the Taliban. They can get that information as well, and they can go and go and kill Americans and allies. You want to try to defend it again? You want to try to defend Biden's administration? Go ahead. Giving the Taliban a list of names and addresses of Americans and our the allies in Afghanistan? Really? You wouldn't do that? How retarded do you have to be? How fucking it stupid do you have to be to do shit like that? You might as well have just signed a death warrant. I mean, come on. Who, in their right mind, would be like, Oh yeah, you've been chanting death to America. We're going to give you a list of names of Americans and our allies in the area that you control. Does that make sense to anybody? Like, what the... F I'm sorry. You can try and say, oh, Trump did this by, re by releasing 5,000... Taliban soldiers. Hey, he did that so that he can get the Taliban to the freaking um, negotiating table so that he can get us out of Afghanistan and have it where a local government could be still in power. Yes, it would be a corrupt one, but hey, it would still be a local power. Instead of following the, pl the pullout date and just coming up with a plan to get everybody out by May 1st. May 1st, Biden decided to push back the date, which voided our agreement with the Taliban, the agreement that the religious leaders, local warlords, and the, lo and the Afghan government agreed to. They agreed to it, and they said, if we stick to the May 1st pullout date, the local warlords and the religious leaders would do their best. They would make sure the Taliban stayed out of Afghanistan. Biden said, fuck that date, we're leaving on another day. So we broke the agreement, well not us, Biden did. So the whole, oh, Trump released 5,000 Taliban soldiers. Okay? Who broke the deal? I'm sorry. You cannot blame Trump. I don't care what, how you try and twist it. This deal, the original deal that Trump got was for a May 1st pullout date be out by May 1st. He was already trying to get it, get our numbers in the country low enough so that if he did get reelected, he wouldn't have much work to do. Or whoever got elected didn't have much to do. All they had to do was be like, okay, hey, say February 1st, I'm president. Hey, everybody start getting out of the country. We're gonna pull thousand a week out of the country. That's all you had to do. That's all Biden had to do. Get a thousand out a week. By May 1st, hey, we've been good. 
But no, he said, screw that. I'm pushing it back so I can try and put more troops in country, cause fucking chaos, and fucking get people killed. We lost 12 fucking Marines yesterday. Nobody should be defending Biden. All of this bullshit happening right now is on Biden's head. This whole screw up is on Biden. That's it.